Hello friends, if you're part of the family, welcome back. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I am recording this uh, November 14th, 2019, um, and we are getting really close to Christmas. I love Christmas. If you follow me on Instagram, um, then you know that I actually right now have my house completely decorated um, with Christmas decoration. My tree is up, no gifts are in the under the tree just yet but um the trees up garlands are up stockings are up and i love christmas so much that um i usually start decorating my house november 1st and this year i actually started <laughs> decorating a little earlier just because my husband was in the attic and he was up there already like late october and i was like hey just bring the stuff down but anyways so i love christmas and it's something that i look forward to every single year um and i love the presents i love the atmosphere i love the hot chocolates and everything that has to do with christmas um but one thing that i try to do or my husband and i try to do with my children well ever since him and i got married um is to start a tradition where on christmas day we actually watch the movie nativity i don't know if you guys remember that movie or you guys have seen it but it is i think the latest version of just the life of the birth of jesus christ and um you see from the beginning just mary and the angel um coming to her and going to joseph and everything that has to do with the birth of jesus and the ending of the movie is just beautiful because you have mary giving birth to jesus in the stable um you have the magi coming, bringing gifts you see the shepherds you see the angels it's just a beautiful movie that we fell in love with it came out a long time ago well I'm not sure when it came out, but I think it was early 2000s or mid 2000s. Um, either way, I'll put a link below to where you guys can buy the movie and I'll include here a picture of what the movie looks like. So if you guys seen it, um, it's an amazing movie and I recommend you guys see it if you don't. Um, but anyways, the tradition is that we would try to watch a Christmas day. And the whole reason why we try to do it is because in the midst of all this Christmas shopping and Christmas decor and Christmas movies, because we love Christmas movies, um, we can really get caught up with all that. We can really lose the meaning of Christmas. And um, I am, if you guys follow my Instagram and also here on my YouTube channel, I am a Christian. I am a Jesus follower. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. He is my Savior. He is my Lord. And my husband is a Christian as well. So we try to instill um, Jesus and his love to our children as much as we can. So again, this is a way for us to really just, yes, still do Christmas, but not get so caught up with all that, to lose the real meaning as to what it is that we are celebrating that God himself came down to earth to be our savior, to die on a cross, to live the life that we were called to live and to die the death that we deserved. So all of that could not have happened if Jesus did not come down to earth. And that is what Christmas is all about. So that is a tradition that we do. Um, but last year, um, we actually received a book um, that I want to recommend to you guys because this is also a tool that could really help us um, really understand why we celebrate Christmas and why we do all this. So this book that I'm going to recommend to you guys was actually written by a friend of mine. Um, her name is Didi Sayas. And um, I'm so excited to actually do this book this year because this is, I feel like, another tradition that my kids and I could do in a yearly basis every Christmas to remind us, again, the meaning of Christmas. All right, so without further ado, here's the book that I'm talking about. It is called A Nest for the Savior, okay? And it's actually the story of a little bird named Sadie and her journey to understanding the real meaning of Christmas. And eventually, as you guys can see from the title, she actually makes a nest for the Savior, which is Jesus, okay? So this book actually starts off with the story of Sadie the little bird, all right? And you go through it. I'm not going to read it so you guys can read it yourselves. So when you're done reading through this entire book, what you can actually do is flip the book around because this book is actually two books in one okay and what i love about this that is makes it very interactive for children because it, it gives them the opportunity to actually build an actual nest for the savior so like i said after you are done reading the book then you can flip it and here is the activity um, for the kids and for you to do with your whole family so here in the first page, you have all the supplies and materials that you will need, but each one has a significance um, and a reason why you are using it to uh, build the nest for the savior. There's a copy of the illustration of Jesus over here, baby Jesus, that you can get actually on their website. Um, and here you can actually trace it. Whop, whop, whop. 
you can trace it over here and then you can color it in and it shows you step by step what your um, nest should look like you see these illustrations over here these pictures so there are actually two ways that you can actually build your nest okay so i'm just gonna read the first line because i feel like they explain it so much better than i do um they say you can make your nest for the savior in one sitting meaning you can put it all get all your supplies and actually build the nest all at once in one day like december 25th you can do it right or um you can do it as a 12th day advent activity to prepare your heart for christmas so you can start for example say december 13th which is what we're gonna do and each day you start adding an item to the nest um and then complete it with the baby jesus so you're going to copy or print out on the last day december 25th so that's actually how i think we're gonna do it this year and again i love that they show you just a picture of what it's supposed to look like they also go through uh, the book of Luke, chapter 2, where it kind of gives you a depth um, story of um, Jesus and the birth of Jesus. And I love how they included the whole story and the whole passage here in the book. So you don't have to be like, wait, let's go get our Bible. No, it's right here for you so you can read it with your family. So like I said, there's a total of 12 steps and you can do those each day for a total of like 12 days. Um, and it tells you each item that you should be adding and actually the meaning behind those items. Like for example, the first item is just hay, and the hay um, symbolizes uh, our true strength. It gives you instructions on how to add it. Even just adds a little story of Sadie and her friends and how they were able to build this nest using this particular item. So I love it, it's super interactive, and honestly I feel like just the concept of preparing our hearts for a savior and comparing it to preparing the nest for the savior i think it's just amazing so like i said what we're gonna do is that we're probably gonna start december 13th and go all the way to december 25th and that's where we're going to add our baby jesus to it and i think it'll add to even our tradition of watching the nativity story and just reminding our kids why it is that we do christmas that it's not about the gifts the gifts are not bad but it's not it's not just about the gifts and the christmas movies and the hot chocolates and the shopping and all that and the light and the tree no it's about jesus and what he came to do and the fact that he is our savior and he is our lord because like i said him even coming is the greatest gift of all so when you're done with your nest you can go ahead and tag their instagram which is called a nest for the savior and they can check out your picture and hopefully repost it and um they actually suggest that you do that because it's a great way to share the good news of jesus with everybody around you and everybody who follows you so this book, um, the cost is $14.99 and I'm going to go ahead and put a link below to their website where you guys can purchase it. And I think in there they also give you a printout of Baby Jesus so you can go ahead and print it out if you're not good at tracing or drawing. And I will also put a link to their Instagram account so you guys can go ahead and follow them. So I don't know about you but I'm very excited for December 13th to come around so we can actually start this tradition with our kids. And again, I feel like if they're doing something, if it's very interactive and they're just anticipating, oh my gosh, what are we gonna to put tomorrow? What are we gonna put the following day? And how it's gonna look like? It's gonna really help this story really sink in. The fact that they are building and they're very, they're involved. It's my prayer that they're going to remember this story and hopefully one day they can make that decision of giving their life to Jesus. All right guys, so that's about it for today's video. I just wanted to go ahead and share this tradition that we're gonna start this year. A shout out to my friend Didi Sayas, who was the one who sent me this book. And it's actually the writer of this book. Great job, my friend. I'll also go ahead and put a link to her Instagram. So go ahead and show her some love. Um, stay tuned for a few messages from myself. Love you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.
Hello friends, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. It actually means the world to me that you guys actually take the time out of your busy day to watch my videos. I have a few messages for you guys. It won't take long at all, I promise. All right, so number one, um, I accept prayer requests. So if there's anything that you are going through, um, anything that you want prayer over, just go ahead and contact me either through a comment below, an email, private message, whatever way that you want. Um, so I can add you to a prayer list that me and my family have and we pray for every single day. We have seen the power of prayer in our lives and we wanna share that with you guys. All right, number two, if you are on Instagram, you should totally be following me. Why? Because I go live Monday through Friday and I do a small devotional slash Bible study anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, but it's just something that you guys can listen to throughout the day to get you connected to the Lord and to his word. And lastly, number three, if you are not following me, totally subscribe, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. I would love for you to join our family. We have so much fun here. I do my best to upload twice a week, usually Tuesdays and Fridays. And I do videos about anything and everything. I do beauty, I do fashion, I do recipes, I do about my life, I do hauls, I do some of my favorite products. Honestly, a little bit of everything where my kids are involved and it's just so much fun. So I would love for you to join our family if you want. All right, that's about it. Thank you so much. Love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.